Hello and welcome back to Ancient Space. Let us continue on. Mission Log, Day 72. Safeguard has failed. Attempted interception of Ulysses II fleet failed. Facility XL-52 compromised. Operatives compromised. Expedition has received message from Scythe Rebel Leader. Assume PRC operations in jeopardy. Communication difficult. Please advise. Message end. So who the hell is it? Ooh hoo hoo. The Violator. The Violator is the fruit of a secret PRC project developed in the military laboratories located deep in the zone. The Violator class vessels are able to form autonomous, ooh, autonomous FTL jumps. In case of a hypothetical open war against the UCF, Violators would give the PRC instant superiority. As such, they constitute a threat that is difficult to overestimate. Violators can transform into relays which can recall smaller ships. Okay. So they're potentially interesting. Not as much raw power as the Dreadnoughts, which, well, what can I say, I like raw power. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to increase the effectiveness of my Centurions, I think, because they were very useful in the last mission. And I think I'll probably keep using them in the future. Okay, don't actually have enough for that. Ooh. Ensign Blake. Trance of Immunes. Decreases damage output on all enemy units in the current sector. Ah, a bit boring. Won't use it. He's quite badly scarred, though, the poor bastard. Anywho. Alright, let us continue onwards to mission 11. Yeah. I say, I still have no idea how many missions there actually are. So. Could be as many as 15. So what the hell has been going on here? Scythe message. Your people kind murdered us, committed science torture, taken our dwellings. But see your many ship or fleet attacked by same hostile kind of markings, PRC. Therefore we favor workings of Alliance. They create clones of us, but are not us. Sites non-aggressive. Cloned sites are engineered killers. Humans of PRC try control our ancestor great ships with clones. It does not function. Great ships think for themselves now. They are guardians, but not to command. We flee now our home must and offer alliance in return for help with evacuation. Okay. So the PRC has been doing some very dodgy experiments out here. And presumably the scythes we've encountered up to now that have been hostile. So now we're working with the scythes, Dr. Burke? We thought the PRC were our allies, so I guess we adapt as needed. We seem to think a lot of things. Commander, what do we call our new alien friend? I'm guessing we choke if we try to pronounce his name, if he even has one. So I just call him Alan. Call him whatever you want for all I care. Look at that warship. Alan the alien. ERC forces incoming. Alright, let's light him up. Okay, let's give him everything we've got. The site had requested our aid during evacuation. Okay. We must protect their settlements in Sector 1 and 2 until all evacuation ships have undocked. Once they are underway, we must protect the ships until they reach their escape point in Sector 3. In return for our help, they have given us a warship, UCS class designation Kraken. Hmm. If the Kraken survives, it will undoubtedly provide us with much scientific data on site technology. Fair enough. Battle stations. Armed and ready. If they're targeting just the buildings, we'll have a good chance to hit them hard. Yeah. And to dispatch small and medium fighters. Okay. Tech upgrade complete. Okay, I want to get some dreadnoughts in here, sharpish, so. So we need to slap up some defences around here. We need to do it fast. Enhancement complete. The Krakens are quite powerful. So 
I love the fact that we've now got Alan the alien working with us. Ah, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So we could call him a lot worse, I suppose. Yeah, at the moment the incoming are likely to come from here and here. So, logic dictates we need to split the force. The violator commands FTL jump over to there and send the Katarina to follow it at sublight speed. Building here. And yeah, it's also deployed the Olympus over here. So we've got to defend this settlement for eight minutes. Just got to tear it up. Good lord, they dropped a lot in on us there. No subtlety about that at all. Just drop in and attack. Yeah, I'm gonna need some decent large ships Station up. Lost. Station lost. I mean, they're just sweeping past and blowing everything away as they go. You know, which is not exactly Enhanced friendly. Gotta really build another station because I could use a turret. Okay. Now, pick off. Well, that was more effective against larger units than it was. Get another bloody thing built there. Yeah, we're going to have to focus on just using mobile forces, I think, because uh, stations can't stand up to much. Centurion's in there. Yeah, all they're focused on is hitting the structure. But this is the only point we actually have to defend it during this mission, or during this one. So. Or are the ones in Sector mission 2 going to... Uh, the ones in Mission 2 are probably going to take fire as well, aren't they? Target out of range. Oh, God damn it. You're kidding me, right? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, fabulous. Upgrade complete. At the plus side, I've got a really good rate of energy generation at the moment. Get up there. <sighs> Having to defend lots of points is going to be annoying as all hell. Yeah, they're heading for Sector 2. Which means... Where the hell's my violator? There it is. Violator flank speed through the wormhole. I think I'm gonna have to get a second violator up. Which is effectively against small and medium. Tech upgrade complete. Bloody hell. Violator initiate short range warp jump. Air okay, platform. Okay. Ten upgrade complete. See, I'm going to need another couple of violators and 
couple of dreadnoughts, I think. See how that violator can harass them quite nicely. Station lost. Damn it. Where? Yeah, that's another one of these squads. Now, where are they sweeping to? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Violator. Both to deploy. Get it through the wormhole fast. Station lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least this mission's given me decent resources to get the job done. Select that one, have the other one. FTL jump over there. Oh, bloody hell, this one's gonna get swarmed in a second. Do they all have to survive? In which case, get that violator over there immediately. The one advantage we have is that they're not targeting my ships at the moment. Which means I can lay a world of hurt on them while they're busy. Well, another dreadnought. Violet is not designed Station lost. to handle things like that. Which could be a major problem. Come on, come on. Need those dreadnoughts. Mission essential object is taking heavy damage. Okay, come on, Violet. That one is going to be hard pressed to survive at this rate. Excellent. Right, hang on. Now, unfortunately, getting it over there in time is going to be tricky. Where's the Ulysses at? Right, that's both dreadnoughts online. Go, go, go. Actually, hang on. That comes out. There. Now, which one? Do I want to come out in this one? Jeez. This one over here? Yeah. Okay. Get a shift on, guys. Actually, no, that needs to be that one, doesn't it? Flank speed, Mission go. Essential object is taking heavy damage. It might be going down, and I can't draw their fire from it fast enough. Put it this way, if it comes down to it, I'm going to be quite annoyed. Bloody hell. This one's taking a lot of fire as well. Everyone who isn't those two dreadnoughts, move to defend. Go, 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 go. God, this is going to be close. Oh, at least it does tell you how many enemy units are in the sector. Oh, Jesus. Come on, come on. Where the hell are my dreadnoughts? Flank speed, damn you, flank speed. <laughs> Tell me they came out the right one. Okay, they did, good.
get over there now. Best speed. Mission essential object. Yes, I know. Thank you. Target. Target. Christ, this is going to be close. This is going to be insanely close. In fact, I think it's probably not going to be close enough. Target the ships one at a time. Damn it! Ah! Ah! Uh. I hate it when that happens. Right. Let's try that again. I think they're right. I think I do need to get a rover to each one. Hmm. So now we're working with the scythe? Yes, 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 yes. Battle stations. Armed and ready. Okay. Have this lot over here. Have that violator. Move over to sector two. If they're targeting just the buildings, we'll have a good chance to hit them hard. Yes, thank you, I know. I so said they are at least giving me enough resources to get the job done, mind. Definite perk. Get Katarina to build a repair point there. Need more gas, but that's okay. Okay. Turn that into a repair platform. Immediately have that head to there. The rover over there. And build a repair platform there. Then we might actually be able to hold it using basically the same tactics I was using before. Tech upgrade complete. Yeah, so I need to do tech upgrades over there before I can do them over here, can I? Okay. Okay. Dum -de dum -de dum. station built. So yeah, once I can get another violator up to act as a defense, then I should be able to hold. After that, I'll need to move everything together into one concise fleet in order to punch a hole through to Sector 3. Tech upgrade complete. Okay. Breathe, Richard, breathe. You are doing okay. Get that centurion over there to scan that and then have a turn fleet. Okay. Here comes a bunch of bad guys from that direction. They're gonna blow apart this building on their way past like they did last time. Come on. Station lost. Uh, need more gas. Need more. What is it? Tritium? Tritium? Oh, it's H3, which I'm sure I've heard of before. Can't remember what its proper uh, name is, but. I think it has one. We have made a discovery. Okay, so that rover is good. Okay, fair platform. Build another violator. In fact, complete work on that so violator immediately. Violator through the wormhole. 
shopish. Katarina build another thing. Okay. We're not doing too badly this time. Mission essential object is taking heavy damage. That's fine, don't worry. Okay, get that violator over there. Build a protector. Build another pad there. And I'll use it to create a... Uh, who's my what's it? Okay, need 400 energy. So, let's save up our energy so that we can get a couple of dreadnoughts in here. It's taking a bit of fire, but uh, nothing it can't handle. Especially the tractor slot. No, oh, god damn it! That's yeah, okay. That's going down. There's only a couple of enemy units in here. Three, four, five. Okay, now they're now they're coming in. That's okay. That's okay. Rover heading over here so it can build some more fixed defenses. And let's assign that as an interdictor. Okay. Now, once I've got enough energy to upgrade to Tech 4, I will build a pair of dreadnoughts, have them move to provide support for these guys. To be fair, are very good against small and medium, so they're quite good to work with Dreadnoughts. Which is good, because... Yeah, I, <laughs> I have a slight obsession with massive capital ships, so... Lots of those is good. Tech upgrade. Okay, that's the tech upgrade. Not enough energy. build while uh okay 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 station lots I've built something as blindingly obvious as gun turrets and which station was lost by the way okay Yes, I'm pretty sure I know where those are going. And yep, I was right. Okay. Target unacceptable. Oh, I said build there, damn it. Target unacceptable. One problem it does have is occasionally it seems to think you're targeting something you're not. Okay, this one's going to start taking a lot of fire. So it's out of range of its force field. Target out of range. Yep. Okay, now all I need is enough energy to produce my dreadnought. Or the first one, anyway. I'm going to do what I did before and get them both online at effectively the same moment. Oh, my rover's actually taking fire. That's new. I don't usually do that. Okay, get a second repair platform up. And get over there, because this one's going to need support. Yes, thank you, Hector. I know. Ay, ay, ay. Trigger a repair. That'll help. Mission 
Mission essential object is taking critical damage. Good lord. What the hell is the Olympus doing? Okay, have the Ulysses back up and pop to his ability. Yes, I know. It's fine. Constructed. Excellent. Constructed. Okay. Get the dreadnoughts over there at flank speed. So this one is going to need some support and fast. Mission essential object is taking critical Disable one of those. The hell is it doing all the way over there? It's probably a complete waste of an FTL jump, but gets it in position to help slightly faster. Flank speed, damn it! Flank speed. Ten seconds. Okay, it's going to hold out for ten seconds. I'm confident of that. Okay, they're both in system. Evac transports en route. Okay. Let's get these ships out of here. Okay, so that seems to me a pretty good point to save, and in fact, looking at it, that's also probably a pretty good point to end this video, and say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next part.